The BL2 experiment tries to determine the lifetime of a neutron by observing a neutron stream and counting the number of times the neutrons decay into protons. The decayed protons are trapped and sent at a detector, which records the hits as a waveform. Hopefully, counting the number of waveforms would be enough, but there can be outside interference and also sometimes multiple hits at once that can confuse the detector. Mathematical techniques have previously been used to separate out true hits, but they still require oversight and a decent amount of work. Here, I am trying to apply unsupervised clustering algorithms to the data to sort them instead. Clustering algorithms take data and try to find clumps of data to call clusters. Hopefully these clumps will be the different types of events a detector might see. I'm going to be applying the optics, DB scan, and HDB scan algorithms to the data. First up is optics, which creates an augmented distance metric called reachability from one point to another. It then orders these and creates clusters by cutting data where there are large jumps in reachability. Looking at the graph, optics found four clusters, but if you look in at the teal group, it seems like more points should be in that cluster. Next, dbscan clusters by taking a given distance metric called epsilon and minimum number of points in a cluster. It then goes through each data point and finds core points. If there are enough core points to satisfy minimum points, it considers this a cluster. dbscan found the main three groups as well, but had trouble including as many points in the third group as it should have. This is due to the varying densities of the groups. HDBScan follows from DBScan, but it only takes minimum points. It creates a hierarchical tree diagram that analyzes all epsilon values, then makes a cut based on an internal algorithm that merges some branches so that they reach min points. This allows for varying density groups to be found since there's no set epsilon. The graph reflects that too. It finds all the groups and clusters much more of the third group. Taking a look into the waveforms it is grouping shows that the actual shapes of these three groups correspond to single, double, and triple events. Since these are unsupervised algorithms, there is no real right one, since neither me nor the algorithm know what type of event each waveform is. So we have to base the quote-unquote best one on the eyeball test and then by looking through the cluster. Again, when looking at the data, it's easy to see that there should be three groups that probably contain the three most common events in the data, single, double, and triple proton events. HDB scan clustered all of these and filled out that tricky third group the best. This was confirmed when the waveforms in each cluster were looked through. Eventually, others at UT developed Lato pseudo data that I could use to get a quantitative accuracy score. Out of the events that HDB scan clustered, it correctly grouped them 97.22% of the time. In conclusion, these are great for getting first looks at data and finding preliminary patterns. They're definitely a helpful tool. But once label pseudocode is available, supervised machine learning techniques can be used, which will blow these results out of the water. They will be looked at in the future for a replacement of these and the previous mathematical filters.